How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the 100% walkthrough for Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Starting off the episode here and wrapping up the Valley of the Krang Wraiths, we have to take out our bird friend over here. So I would suggest waiting until he turns around and try and get that critical. Nice chunk of health off. Now, this guy is wood aligned, so he is not going to like poison very much. I would suggest throwing that on out, getting him afflicted. Just going to town on him. Got those lightning bolts. As you can see, we just melted that thing. Okay, so now we can. We are free to gather up all the goodies up here. Rank 2 steel, rank 2 leather. Throwing knife. And that is it, I believe. Maybe a couple items in these boxes, potentially. Alright, so now we are conquering the cave, and if we do this, this is where the boss is located. We'll be wrapping up the area. And once we wrap, it shouldn't take too much longer here, uh, so plan is to finish this area up and do the subsequent uh, sub-battlefield that is going to pop up after this. Which is just a just a boss battle with another monkey. So, and it happens in this same cave. So, figured it was uh, probably a a good idea to just throw it in the same episode. Being as the location is the same. Looks like someone else is trying to get involved here. A prize worth far more than its weight in gold. Okay. So down over here is actually where we entered the cave from. So if we run up here, there's going to be another wizard and warlock, whatever you want to call him. And once you kill him, you should get the um, the trophy uh, for vanquishing all the warlocks in the area. So that guy right there is the higher level enemy, so we're going to go for him. Nice chunk out of itself. It was an honor to witness such a fine display. And utterly annihilate him. Okay, now this guy finally saw us, but he's not really a threat. He was just guarding the battle flag. So plant that that flag. Now up here is another tiger. And there's another dude over here. Just gonna take him out. So the reason for going up here, there's another marker flag up here. So we're gonna run around this pillar here and wait for the tiger to. Do his little patrol. Nice little critical on him. Get 
can see just how just how you can mess mess things up if you're higher morale. Like once you get to morale 25, you're going through these zones and fighting bosses. Like you're gonna have a much easier time. So heading back to the flag here, that is about it. We are going to just rest here. Level up. that I missed. So there's one more guy over here and a chest. And not really sneak, but just rush in and beat the crap out of him. Um, <laughs> so uh, Zhang Bao is um, a fire-based um, does a lot of uh, it does a lot of sorceries, uh, circling magic around and um, fire pillars and fire uh, flame waves and that sort of thing. So, just a uh, you can deflect all those uh, like this. These fire rings, just time it right, deflect right through that. So he has a couple red attacks. Well, uh, one that he kind of teleports and he will try and hug you. Uh, that one's pretty deadly, so you want to watch out for that one. And about halfway through, he's going to summon up some uh, warlocks to, uh, to buff him. Uh, at, the, at which point you want to run around and look for them and take them out. Just be careful if he does all that fire stuff and you're up close, because it can hurt pretty bad. Some pillars there. He likes some spin the wind attacks like you're seeing. Flame waves. Okay, here he goes. So now he's buffed. So we need to take out these guys while uh, Zhang Fei and Guan Yu take care of him. We can run around and take care of the warlocks. Now you saw right there that his fire was negating my the poison that I was throwing at him. And that's you know, that's from the, the five phase theory. It's almost down. Fire pillars. There he goes. Elder brother, we'll see it done. Bring prosperity for all. Take Zhang Fei back up. He took me a few tries on my first playthrough, but um, overall, ah, he not can too, too bad. Away in the afterlife now. Like anything, you just gotta get used to his attacks. Corrupt officials, eh? That's good. I will do just. So we get access to another divine beast here. Quinn Long.
So we are going to be transported to the next area. Um, like I said, we're not going to do that area just yet. We will um, tackle the sub battlefield that's going to pop up, which is just fighting the monkey. And fighting the monkey uh, throughout the game is actually a good, a good uh, source of farming uh, gear and uh, weapons. Uh, and as you progress through the game, the uh, the the ra the rarity of the weapons and uh, also the the upgrade level we of the weapons the and gear that you're going to get from him is going to increase as you progress through the game. He is the pretty much the primary source of uh, getting five star gear in New Game Plus as well. It could be the Yellow Turban's base. A distorted flow of chi, you say? That explains the rumors of there being demons in the enemy camp. So we've more than just hapless rebels to deal with, then. I shall relish the opportunity to wield my claws. Okay. Hey! So. Another day, another copper. If there's anything you need, let me know. This is someone you've met before? I'm a blacksmith. Name's Jusha. My aim's to become a master blacksmith, and so I travel the land, honing my craft. And what business does such a beauty have with a humble smithy like myself? <laughs> you certainly talk the talk of a good trader. Although this is a far from ideal place to do business, surely. If you went to where my allies are, you'd likely fare better. <laughs> Why, as it happens, I'd been thinking of settling down somewhere a little calmer. Thank you kindly for the offer. Once I'm finished up here, I'll make my way there. Hey, another day, another copper. If there's anything you need, let me know. Okay, so can upgrade the cudgel again here. So I believe we are going to do that. The our other weapon for now, we're not going to touch. Really, just focusing on the cudgel. So, new battlefield. This is the one that we're in, the Demon Fort. And we are going to the Tale of Guguzi. I am probably butchering that, but <laughs> nevertheless, that is where we're going. So, like I said, this is uh, just a singular boss fight with another monkey. Um, it's in that same cave that we just fought uh, Zhang Bao in. So... The Chi hasn't settled down even with Zhang Bao dead. This can't be good. And we're actually, the rewards here, we're actually going to get a couple pieces of gear that we're going to be using. So, this is why I wanted to do this as well. So same move set as before. Same red attacks, everything. Okay, I almost got the stun. Actually, looking forward to when we can refine our gear because our status effects are going to build up a lot quicker. Except for that flipping slam there. Again. Another critical. Yeah, 
Yeah, watch out for that, that uppercut where some th stones come at you. Another critical. Almost done. And goodbye. So we got a four star um, yellow turban cap. Not that I, we're really going to use that, but. Okay. So rank two steel and the warlock ritual robe and the armlets, which we will slap those on shortly here. So we're just going to travel back to the the Demon Fort of the Yellow Heaven. And we will be tackling that area in the next episode. Which initially, my first playthrough, this place was a little rough, but it's like anything. You, you just got to get used to it. So, like I said, we will continue on in the next one in this area. So hopefully you're all doing well. There is another couple that have opened up as well, but we will do those in subsequent episodes. We're going to level up Earth. Hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.